All right, what is up everybody? Today we are back on some more Minecraft Xbox 360 and today we are going to be looking at this pitfall trap that actually opens and then closes above you and suffocates you in the water. Now if you try and escape, there is lava on all sides so there is absolutely no way to escape without either drowning or getting burned. So if you want to know how to build this, stay tuned. Okay, so the first step in creating any kind of successful pitfall trap is actually having a convincing location to put the trap. So you can see here that I put my trap inside of this one wide area, and at the end I have this pressure plate and a wall, and the average person is going to think that the pressure plate will open up this wall here and let you into another room. However, we know that if you step on it, you will actually fall down into your demise and become trapped and die in the bath of water and lava. So now that you have your convincing area selected and made, you want to then dig out an area that is three long, followed by another area next to it that is two long. And at the end of the three long section, you want to place a sticky piston and then redstone dust in the two long section. And right here in this block where I'm breaking them out is actually where the pitfall is going to be. So for my trap, I only need to go six down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. However, if you want whoever is falling into your trap to die on impact, you obviously would want to dig that down more so that they were killed, obviously, on impact. Now, I actually already have a working pitfall here, and you can see that if I go ahead and I place the redstone torch on the side of the block and I place a pressure plate on top of that, you can see that, bam, I will now fall in and be trapped. Now, if you want the block to extend above their head, you need to come down into the actual area here, dig out, come up three blocks from the bottom, so sorry, one, two, and three, and then dig two back in that spot and place a regular piston in the back. And now if you want the trap to be extremely hard to escape from, you want to use blocks that are harder to break than your average stone. So to do so, I'm going to use iron blocks because they are very difficult to break by hand. So I'm going to put that in there as well as one on the or two on the bottom. I'm going to place two blocks on the bottom and then one around the feet section of whoever has fallen in just like so so that when the water is in here you there is no way you can break out all of these iron blocks and not have suffocated and also up here i'm going to be placing in glowstone so that whoever we trap can see because you can see here that if i don't put in glowstone it is pitch black and i can't see a darn thing now the downfall to glowstone is that it is actually very easy to break through so to remedy that, we are going to put lava behind it so that if whoever falls in tries to escape, they end up burning or having some, uh, some obsidian made so it is very difficult to escape from our trap. So now we're just going to put lava behind all of the places where we're going to have glowstone. And now there's no way you can dig down or to the sides and the only place you could dig and survive would be up. So to make sure that whoever doesn't, or to make sure that whoever fell in doesn't escape from the top, we want to come over and we want to find the side where we have this redstone dust spot here. And we want to go to the block over to the side and we want to go below it. And we want to dig obviously one block below like I just said. And then place a piston upside down. And then right back there, right above this lava pool, we want to place another lava pool. Because now if we actually have the redstone torch here, you can see that the lava is cut off by the piston arm. And won't flow down here freely until we actually activate the trap. So now all we have to do is wire up the piston back here to the original pressure plate. And we will have ourselves a working trap. So now let's go ahead and dig it out and bring it over here. And obviously we just need to wire it up. Now we want to use redstone repeaters here because the signal otherwise will be too fast. And the block that extends out, this iron block here, will extend out too fast and will actually make you land on top of it as opposed to below it like we want. So you just need to place down some redstone repeaters and tick them all the way back so that the signal is delayed. And then finish connecting up the redstone to the piston. So now we have a completely functional trap. Here all we have to do is cover up the redstone and we can do that simply by doing this now you want to be careful right here because if I place the block here it will actually cut the redstone wire there and it will not work so you just need to come up one more block and obviously you're going to want to hide your trap substantially better than I am here however for demonstration purposes this is gonna have to do 
because we like to cut time back, not make you sit here for 45 minutes and learn how to do it. So, there we are. Now we just need to reset the trap by going like this, placing a pressure plate here, and putting... Oops, I forgot to add in the water. Sorry, yeah, make sure you add the water into your trap down here. Just like so. Bam, bam. And this piston is actually glitched, so sometimes the piston will glitch and stay extended like that. And to do that, or to fix that, all you have to do is break it, and it shouldn't affect the working of your trap. And see, if you add in the water too soon, you'll actually form a stone block there. So that's why I add in this um, uh, torch up here to block off the lava so it doesn't flow too soon. So there we go here. We have the lava in. We have the water in. We have everything good. So we just need to quickly switch out this torch and then add in our block. So like so, like so. And before the lava has a chance to mess up our trap down there, we just add in the torch, put our pressure plate on top, and there we are. So the trap should be functioning correctly if we do this just to make it look symmetrical. Sort of. There. Now we can test the trap. So if I walk onto it, I should fall down in, become trapped. And now if I try to escape through the top, you can see that the lava will flow down and kill me either in this stone block like it is now. Or if I tried to go out through the sides, obsidian forms, I realize you can't see that. But obsidian forms on the sides and you also can't go down because we have those two iron blocks. Now I realize that this trap is kind of complicated or the way I explained it may be confusing. So if you have any questions about it, please do let me know in the comments down below. Or send me a tweet over on Twitter, at Pure Dominance, and I will do my best to answer your questions. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, because I know a lot of you guys like traps, please do drop me a like and subscribe for more traps and other tutorials in the future. And with that said, that's about it for me. I will see all of you guys later with another video. So, peace!